Good morning, Rattlers. Today is January 23rd, 2017. Our special guest is Mr. Rodewall. Please join us in the Morning Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. A reminder that yearbooks are always something to look forward to. Yearbooks are currently $75, but will go up to $80 March 1st. The two girls have been waiting a whole month to spill the tea, and there's a lot of it. Let's go to Sandra, Viv, and Stephanie. Hello, Rattlers. Welcome to the tea where we give big shout outs to people and events on campus. Long time no tea. We're back from 2016, and we're here to spill the tea about everything. everything. It's been exactly six weeks since we last spilled the tea and our cups are overflowing. We have tea like Kendall Jenner taking a photo shoot at our school, the last celebrity death of 2016, Mariah Carey's career, and the B-movie buzzing its way to Netflix. First up, senior Jared Clark is our glow up of the week and his shirt is my attitude towards his 2012 haircut. Next is our couple of the week. Sophomores Victoria Gonzalez and Jewel Volkes have been dating for seven months and they're so cute together that she's the jewel to her Victorian crown. The green and red hair complement each other very well. The single rattler of the week is junior Caitlin Stewart. Caitlin is spiritually connected to Shrek, memes, cosplay, and video games. She says that any guy that wants to be with her needs to take a meme test. Quote, if their memes aren't dank enough, they can't pass, unquote. She has two Instagrams, and her second one is dedicated to her flawless cosplay. Currently, she's playing Sharpay Evans in our upcoming production of High School Musical in February. Over winter break, 40 choir students took a trip to Australia and performed around Sydney and Canberra. Things got a little brazy, and lucky for us, our last couple of the week, Will Webster and Georgia Christofferson, vlogged their whole experience. We have some piping hot tea about our seniors. College acceptance letters have been pouring in, and here are a few Rattlers that got lucky. Daniel Whelan got a full ride scholarship to UC Davis because he's a superhuman. Kayla Gomez, Angel Camarena, Hunter LaSalle, and Brighton Carpiel all got accepted to AMSA, American Musical and Dramatic Academy, and our most likely valedictorian, Palmer Manis, got accepted to Stanford University. The tweet of the week is... <laughs> to the girl from the South Side who took on a role she didn't ask for and made it her own. Happy birthday, Michelle. I love you. The Obamas are moving here to Ranch Mirage, which basically makes them Rattlers. Farewell to the best president of our time. This leads us to our next cup of sweet tea. Senior Alondra Ponce wanted to go to the presidential inauguration in Washington, D.C., and the Galen Allocation Committee said, you're in luck. They funded her trip so she could experience our new political changes in the heart of it all. For the meme of the week, we have the tea, but every time we say the tea, it gets faster. We love this meme because it originated from the B movie memes. We can give you guys a summary of the entire movie, but we're out of tea time. Netflix was working on Twitter, so they saw our B movie memes and decided to add the movie. Looks like we're all out of tea, but we're sure we'll have more after January. Bye! Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, girls, for drenching <laughs> us in that tea. <laughs> now let's dive into sports with Richard and Joseph. Girls basketball on the 10th played against Desert Hot Springs and won 54-34. On the 12th, they played against Desert Mirage and won 47-26. On the 19th, they played Coachella and won 49-41. Boys basketball on the 10th played against DHS and won 82-54. On the 12th, they played Desert Mirage and won 96-26. On the 19th, they played Coachella and won 79 to 36. Congrats to the boys on taking the dub. Good ball out there, players. Now let's cross face the wrestling. The boys wrestling team has been doing great this season. The top finishers at Riverside County Championships include Marcus Lopez for third place, Travis O'Brien for fourth place, and Whitefield for fifth place. Still waiting on team finish. On Wednesday, they have matched with Coachella. Good luck, wrestlers. Great job, wrestling team. Now let's slide tackle our way to soccer. Boys soccer on the 17th played against Yucca Valley and won 8-0. This week on Tuesday, they play against 29 Palms at 5 o'clock. 
Girls Soccer on the 10th played against Desert Hot Springs and won 3-0. On the 12th, they played against Desert Mirage and won 3-0. On the 17th, they won 2-0 against Yucca Valley. On the 19th, they played against Coachella and won 1-0. That's all we have for this week, Rattlers. Thanks for watching. Now, let's take it to our anchors in the studio. Now, let's go to Club of the Week. We're featuring Archery Club. Hi, I'm Serena Fuentes, president of the Archery Club. We meet every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday after school from 3.15 to 4.30. Generally, you know, this is Archery Club. We're going to be doing archery. We're going to be shooting. For right now, we have our, our bows and arrows and all our arm guards and finger taps to keep us safe. Anyone could join, really, but you have to be committed to it because we are having fluctuating members. For our last segment, we have Val has Got Talent. Girl, put your love on me, cause I won't let you down, I won't let you down, and we'll be singing. Girl, put your love on me, I feel it all around, I feel it all around, and we'll be singing. Thanks, Hunty, and thanks, Rattlers, for watching we covered this past week. Follow us on our Twitter, at RMHS News, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Rattler Report, for all of our podcasts. We'll see you next week, Rattlers. This is X Jazzy Lugato, and, and we're, we're signing, signing off. off.